Hey everyone, thank you for joining us. We are talking EV myths versus reality. We have Stephen Albert, Director of OES Sales and Global EV Product Strategy for TerraPower. Stephen, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. All right, so myth or reality, help us out here. We got our first one. Cold weather decreases electric vehicle range, which dramatically impacts how far users can drive. Myth or reality? So this is a reality. Cold weather for electric vehicle does impact the range. However, the impact is often over-exaggerated. If you think about it, the cold weather does slow down the chemical reaction inside the battery, leading to temporary reduction in range, and this is due to the resistance in the battery cells. This affects the entire pack's efficiency and performance. Okay, well, uh, by how much? Do you have any idea of how much of the impact it is? So it will vary by vehicle. So there was a study conducted by a battery health startup, Recurrent Auto, which tested a pool of over 10,000 vehicles uh, over a span of 18 of the most popular electric models in, U in the US. And the EVs retain a little over 70% of their vehicle range. Okay, so when it's colder, still retain some range, definitely an impact there. Is there anything maybe that the EV systems can do to help or even the driver and how they, how they operate it? Yeah, so these vehicles, the modern electric vehicles, if you will, they have a very sophisticated battery management system, also known as the BMS. And the BMS can preheat the battery before you start your commute to ensure you have the optimal performance. Most electric cars also feature regenerative braking, which helps to offset some of the negative impact of cold weather to minimize the range loss. Now, something I do to preserve energy uh, in my EV, especially in colder weather, I turn on my heated seats. And so what this does is this keeps the HVAC system from running, essentially keeping ventilation off and allowing the heat pump to use all of the heat for the battery pack. Right, some interesting things there. Regenerative braking takes a little bit get, getting used to. The, the HVAC thing, I mean, not so different from our, our gas vehicles now and the impact on efficiency there. So that's cool that that transfers over. Okay, myth or reality, you can't charge an electric car in really cold weather, myth or reality? That one, my friend, is a myth. You absolutely can charge your vehicle in cold weather. Now, depending on the ambient temp or the temperature of the battery pack, this will impact how, how quickly the vehicle charges. That being said, EVs are very sophisticated and the battery management system will do all the work for you. Okay, our third myth or reality for EVs, electric vehicles are difficult to drive long distances, especially in extreme weather, myth or reality? So there's some reality to that. Uh, one thing I would say is when driving an electric vehicle in cold weather, a little bit more planning is necessary. So uh, as a best practice, uh, especially on colder days, you wanna utilize your vehicle's navigation to identify uh, where all of the charging stations are gonna be along your route. Now, this will allow your vehicle to precondition and prepare its charge since you have basically notified the car that you're, you have an intention of plugging in. And when this preconditions the vehicle, this allows the battery to get to the operating temperature so you can have the most efficient charge, therefore minimizing any disruption to your trip. So you mentioned trip planning. I know this is different than something people really need to focus on when, when moving to EVs and operating EVs. Can you tell me a little about that? So yeah, trip planning is, is imperative. So something I do in my personal vehicle is uh, I plan accordingly. I make sure the night before my battery is adequately charged so that that doesn't disrupt the start of my trip. And I plug everything into my navigation and the navigation will call out all the charging stations you'll stop at. It does all of the homework for you to simplify your trip because it'll already precondition your battery as you go between stops. So, well, and we've been talking a lot about cold weather, but there are also the other extreme of hot weather. Do you have any idea of how ambient temperatures impact the battery overall? So yes, the optimal operating temperature range for an EV's lithium ion battery pack is a, between 67 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And for example, if the temperature drops below that 67 degrees, your vehicle will use some of its electricity to increase the battery pack's temperature to maintain its optimal temperature range. Keep in mind, this happens even when your vehicle is turned off. Uh, so if you leave it parked outside in a very cold night and you don't plug it in, you will see a little bit more range loss compared to leaving it outside on a milder day. So battery's big topic. 
And our next topic for our next myth or reality. So number four here, replacement EV batteries are extremely expensive. So you should avoid EVs if they're over 50,000 miles. Reality or myth? This one is a myth. The price of a battery repair will vary by manufacturer and by pack design. That being said, most manufacturers for EVs offer up to an eight year, 100 plus thousand mile warranty. Now, when the vehicle is out of warranty, TerraPower, a division of BBB Industries, works directly with the OEMs to offer a sustainable manufactured option to bring the price down for consumers whose batteries do fall outside of that warranty period. Yeah, and, well, and I like that word sustainable, right? Sustainable manufacturing, because if you're in EVs and you're trying to make a difference, that's a big component of it too. Absolutely. All right, our last myth or reality, number five, we've come this far. EVs are expensive to maintain and charge. Myth or reality? This, my friend, is a myth. EVs tend to have lower running costs due to having less moving parts when compared to their ICE counterparts. With the exception of an unlikely out of warranty battery replacement, EVs will have significantly less maintenance uh, fees. My personal vehicle, I've done tires over 80,000 miles, haven't even touched the brakes. Now, when it comes to charging, charging is also cheaper than buying fuel for your vehicle, especially if you charge at home or if you have the luxury of charging at your workplace, you're, you're probably spending a third of the cost using an EV vehicle. Oh, wow, wow, excellent. Stephen, I wanna thank you for taking the time to shed some light on the EV world. I think as there's a lot of change and a lot of myths out there, it's nice to get some reality. Thanks for taking the time. Absolutely, my pleasure. And thank you all for watching. For even more EV insight, be sure to check out the BBB Industries website at bbbind.com forward slash TerraPower. We'll see you next time.